Hello, my name is Greg Moore. I'll be introducing in this short video um, a bit of project management work, simple project management using Apple Numbers. Can't guarantee everything I do here will work the same in Excel. Numbers is just a little bit different to Excel as far as the formatting goes. Let's see what we're doing here. Um, first, I'm going to be introducing the chart and then I'll go and add some chart check boxes. Then we'll have a look at the overdue column. And well, there's too many things there. Let's just move on and uh, start this. So let's introduce it and then add some check boxes. So we've been working in our project management class with this project called Mount Terrible Radio Repeater. And I've put six tasks or activities here. And each activity has a due date. In fact, we could probably call these deliverables with their due dates milestones, because I think they're pretty well key events. So um, today is the 2nd of September 2018. There's a pretty cool function that I'll show you, which is in um, the spreadsheet program. Uh, it's called now. So if I start the cell with an equals symbol and type the word now, um, I'll get today's date and time. So it's 10 past 5 on Sunday afternoon, the 2nd of September 2018. Three of these tasks occur before today's date. Three of these tasks occur after today's date. All right, let's go on and add some check boxes. Uh, let's go and have a look at the formatting for the cell. And uh, come down, I can add check box into here. And I'll drag those down. Checkbox is a pretty cool feature in a spreadsheet. It allows me to use this in an equation, or if you like to call it a formula, um, for a check, perhaps in an if statement. Uh, if the checkbox is ticked, do this. If the checkbox is not ticked, do that. Uh, very cool function indeed. So um, overdue, that was the next thing we said we'd do. We'll have a look at the overdue column. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, if this task has not been done, if there's no tick in there, it hasn't been done, I need to see a duration there in days and hours letting me know um, how much it's overdue by. So take that tick out of there and we'll think about a very simple equation we could put in here. How about uh, now? We learned that function. Now and then minus the due date and equals 91 days and 17 hours. And we could drag that down and we could look at all of these. That's a pretty cool thing to do. Um, that's overdue by, well, three months, 91 days, 77 days for the survey, 62 days for the power. These don't make much sense, though. These are future activities. They're not actually overdue, so they're coming up with a numerical error. They've got a negative sign in front. Um, also, we haven't got these uh, tick boxes working at the moment, so we probably need to go in and modify that equation. So when I thought this video out, I thought, well, we'll look at two equations, but in fact, in fact, I think that we're going to look at, uh, just thinking ahead here, probably three equations there that we'll have a look at. So let's go and look at the second one of those equations rid of these and we'll play with this and let's see we need to add some intelligence to my uh, formula here so I'll get rid of that and we'll go if and uh, then oh that's probably worth looking at the way an if statement works if you've forgotten uh, it examines something that's happening uh, like is is five greater than four is five less than six, you know, and you're going to get a yes or a no come out of that expression. If if the answer is true, do something. If the answer is false, do something else. That's basically how the if statement works. Pretty cool, pretty cool feature. So um, if and uh, we want cell C2 in this case, because that's my checkbox. And by default, putting that C2 into the if statement is saying if C2 is uh, ticked, um, then don't do anything. A couple of inverted commas there. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, we need to know what the overdue amount is. And that's going to be uh, now minus the uh, 
B2, isn't it? Yeah, so it'll be now minus cell. It just is easy to click on it, B2. I don't think we need that bracket there. That's going to upset the equation. If C2 is uh, ticked, don't do anything. Otherwise, today's date minus B2. And we probably need a bit of a bracket on the end to keep that happy. And uh, we're overdue by 91 days and 17 hours. That's what we had before. But now watch what happens. Ticket, it goes away. Ticket, it goes away. Ticket, it goes away. We've added some intelligent function to the spreadsheet, so to say. But if I um, untick these, I, I was thinking ahead there before. I thought, ooh, I'm going to have some problem here because I've got these are future dates and I've got negative values. I've got a numerical error there. So I really need to add something else to my function to stop those negative values coming up with the future dates. And uh, this is what I said before, um, three equations. So we're up to equation number three. So let's go back in and modify this. I think that we need a bit of an or happening there. We need to have if that box is ticked or this date is in advance in the future of where we are now, don't print anything. So um, if or um, C2 is ticked, comma, um, this date is in advance of, oh, we probably want to make that B, B2, not B5. We'll just change that. Uh, if C2, or because we'll start from the top of our chart. So if C2 um, or B2 is greater than now, greater than, Remember now, uh, now, and then comma, comma, do nothing. Otherwise, comma, um, we need to uh, print the value that it's overdue by. And that was what we had before. That was uh, now minus B2. So uh, now minus, and just as quick to go back and click on that. And uh, then we can take that out and we can take, oh, we can take the majority of this guff out, can't we? We don't need any of that in there. Are we happy? Let's see. Uh, no, we're not. I can see that's going to introduce an error when I hit the uh, green tick. Can you see why? If there's a bracket there, there's a bracket at the end. Or there's a bracket there with or. Can you see the error? Error, notice. All right, where was the error? It's here. Good to think about these things as you go. So um, these things are encapsulated in OR. So it's saying if, and that OR, you sort of read it in plain English as being there. So if C2 is ticked or B2 is, <gasps> that's in the wrong place. B2 is greater than now. We need that up there. B2 is greater than now. Don't do anything otherwise. Print. And I don't think it wants that. I think it wants now as a function. Now minus B2. <gasps> that should be good. All right. <laughs> Looking good. Oh dear. Let's just go back. Go back. All right. Tick that. We don't want to get carried away with ourselves here. All right. Go away. One of those little annoyances that can happen sometime. All right. Are we good here? Ticket, it goes away. Ticket, it goes away. Fantastic. I like it. Let's bring it down a bit more. Do we get anything? If everything's working well, when I let go of my mouse, I should have nothing in these cells. Great. I've got nothing in the cells. Why not? Because if C5 is ticked or... B5 is greater than now. B5 is the 19th of September. Now is the 2nd of September. All right, I'm happy with that. That's all pretty good. But we still haven't got anything to show upcomings. I can, I can get rid of these. That's, that's no problem. 
But what about my upcoming here, here, and here? Um, we have other events or activities that haven't occurred yet. So we need yet another equation here. And I think uh, that shouldn't be too hard. Very similar to what we've already done. Equals if I'm just thinking ahead here or... Or, so, oops, okay, it's going to have an encapsulated or, so if bracket, or, and um, then some other expressions here. We'll get rid of that guff out of there. Uh, if, or, and again, we need to know, is it ticked? So, ticked, or, now in this case, we need to have B2 is less than, now, B2 is less than now. Okay. Uh, C2 ticked or B2 is less than now. Great. Comma. Uh, do nothing. Inverted commas. So if those cases, if one or the other, because it's an or logical statement, are true, do nothing. Otherwise, we need to print the future uh, duration and I don't want to see a negative sign in front so I need to reverse the maths on this so to say I think I need to do a b2 minus now so um, b2 minus now and then we need a bit of a bracket at the end of that are we okay with brackets bracket 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 comma, comma, do nothing, do that. I think I'm pretty good with that. Okay, let's, um, oops, too quick with the mouse, Greg. Okay, click on that, drag that down, and bingo, that's what we wanted. These are future dates. As they're ticked, they'll disappear as well. Too good. All right, but I can see something that I'm not terribly happy with here. Overdue, I've got 62 days, 17 hours, but check this out. Two weeks, I've got a future wait of two weeks, two days, six hours, 35 minutes and 58 seconds. And by golly gosh, I probably could have gone down to milliseconds as well. We don't want to do that. So um, what we'll do, we'll format all of these cells. I've got multiple data formats here in the cells. So we'll go to um, duration, custom units. I want days. That's looking pretty good. 16 days, 29 days, 63 days. But I think we probably want hours as well. And you see, you know, we don't want milliseconds. So we can get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I think days and hours are great. And we probably, style-wise, days and hours. So there we are. 16 days, 7 hours. 62 days, 17 hours. Okay, happy with that. And um, this is overdue. I think if it's overdue, we probably want to... Okay, we probably want to do something with that because it's overdue. So I'm going to change the color of the text. And... Um, yeah, I think it was already bold, so we can just go and we can change it to um, to red. Okay, this particular font, this particular font I can't bold. Um, these particular fonts <coughs> come in a package which, um, for this particular one, has its own regular, has its own bold, has its own italic. So um, they're all individually selected uh, fonts, which I'd have to uh, go through there. Uh, that's condensed medium. If I went condensed heavy, bang, there would be heavy there like that. And I'd probably want to um, uh, put that formatting into above and below as well. So there we have it. So they're the overdue dates. These are the future dates. Tick these off. They go away. Um, I think we're looking pretty good with that. I've gone over time. I only wanted to do a short five minute video with this. I've gone a little bit over time, but nevertheless, uh, I think we did okay. Let's just check we did everything. I introduced it. I did the tech charts, check boxes. I did the overdue column. I did the three equations. We went to the upcoming column. We did the equation. 
we formatted the equation columns to change the color and make it bold. Um, we could save it to the cloud, and I think that's a wrap. We're, uh, we're pretty good with that. Okay, don't forget to have a look at the notes, and in the notes I have the hyperlink going to this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.